Yeah, Roger, wanted to give you a heads up on our plan here. Any moment now, we are expecting KU to come back at this point. We're going to route some camera views um, so that we can see uh, Dragon better from the ground here. At 12.23, so about one minute from now, we are expecting to get a video feed from SpaceX that will just come to MCC Houston over here. That's going to last about five minutes. Our plan is we are going to check the alignment, make sure that Dragon is in good position. As long as those checks work, we are going to press ahead uh, with the docking attempt. How copy so far? Okay, copy about 12.23. You guys will get video to MCC for about five minutes. You guys are going to check the alignment on the ground, and if you're happy, you'll uh, land the press ahead. And that's a good copy, Raja, and we will let you know when we're pressing in. Stand by. Dragon, yeah, Cap, down, Tom, down. Scott, on Segetti, Dragon to Ground, so I'm sure you copied all on the big loop. Uh, stand by. Uh, we're zipping up a plan here, uh, and I'll let you know before we command resume. So again, right now we're standing by for Dragon to make that pass over our SpaceX ground site, the plan. We've now got some additional cameras trained on Dragon, just giving the team's additional alignment insight into the capsule as it still hangs out 20 meters away from the docking port. We're just beginning a pass over station ground sites now, and teams are going to work to get that video up to the crew. This ground site pass will last for about five minutes. And that means the video will likely not be available for the entirety of that final approach. However, Dragon, the way the flight on rules the are loop, written, confirm crew readiness for final approach. SpaceX, Endeavor, copy all. We're ready. Visors down. And again, as long as the teams Dragon, have this SpaceX, data now, on the big we're loop, able resume to confirm that alignment. Dragon is entering approach two. And Dragon's flight computer getting into approach two. Perhaps so we've never gotten that video. We've been able to confirm alignment here on the ground. The NASA flight director and the SpaceX mission director have conferred. And confirm Dragon is in good alignment. We have additional tools available, uh, giving us degrees it's off access to the telemetry of Dragon at during its approach. Two and one, and we'll be hands off at two meters. Good copy, Dragon. All right. So Dragon is now accelerating in for docking. So again. We were able to get that ground pass video. The teams here in Houston, visiting vehicle officer, other support personnel confirmed Dragon was in good alignment. And that video from the ground site, that's the one you were just seeing on the left. So Dragon's now continuing in towards docking. We've departed waypoint two. We're only 17 and a half meters away. We confirmed good alignment. And we've got additional views now trained on Dragon, giving additional situational awareness. And we're continuing to get those updates from the navigational equipment on board Dragon. The LIDAR is giving real-time range rate. Uh, we're getting real-time degrees, and that's also being fed to the crew in real time. They don't have that video, but they do have all that additional data that's able to give them uh, enough data to make decisions for board if they need to. So we have proceeded. We are go for docking. Dragon's flying in. It's moving at less than a tenth of a meter per second. We're just about 15 meters away now from the docking port on the space-facing side of Node 2. Should be just under three minutes away from docking. And you can see the soft capture ring on the docking mechanisms extended. It's got three of those slightly triangular looking shapes, and those are the pedals that are going to be used to guide it in to the passive docking me mechanism on the station side. After that makes the initial attachment, that docking ring is going to retract. 
bring it in, and then it's going to be able to make a hard mate, engaging 12 hooks to give a, the, the hard mate, the hard dock, um, to the space station. SpaceX copies, 10 meters. So 10 meters again. Once we get to about 6 meters, you're going to hear the crew call out CHOP. That's the crew hands-off point. That's just giving direction to the crew on board Dragon not to make any manual control decisions or movements as so everything gets handled by the flight computer from that point in. Eight meters away. Continuing to get confirmation that Dragon is in the correct attitude in the approach corridor. Not tracking any issues, just past seven meters from the docking port. Six meters in closing. The international five docking meters. adapter number three in view Basics on the lower copies, right there. Five meters. Under five meters to go. Still seeing good alignment. Under three meters. Soft docking ring on dragon on top on. there. International docking adapter Basics on the right. Copies, two meters. Two meters. We heard chop call. The crew hands off point. One meter. One meter to go. Dragon, SpaceX, yes. on the big loop, contact soft and soft capture complete, attenuation in progress. SpaceX Endeavor, copy all, good. All right, so with that contact and capture coming at 7.29 a.m. Central Time, 5.29 a.m. Eastern, that's 12.29 UTC, while the station and Dragon flew 258 statute miles over the Central Atlantic Ocean. So with that initial contact made, the soft capture ring is now going to begin to retract. After Dragon, that is SpaceX completed, on the big loop, we'll be able to start engaging ring hooks. retraction in progress. Big soft capture ring in progress. So we're now going to see Dragon inch a little bit closer to that docking adapter until it essentially performs a sealed connection. And then we'll be able to engage 12 hooks that uh, form the hard capture function onboard Dragon. Six of those are actually engaged during the launch and on the way into orbit. And they hold the nose cone, which you can see opened off to the right there. They hold that in place, uh, and then they're opened up once we're on orbit to deploy the nose cone. Uh, but 12 of those are now going to engage after the soft capture ring has retracted. Once those 12 are engaged, we'll have a hard mate. Then we can start co to connect two umbilicals that are going to uh, provide hard line data and power to Dragon through station systems. And then we'll be able to get the docking complete call. And then it's on to uh, some of the post docking operations. So for the crew inside Dragon, they'll be getting out of their suits, uh, doing some basic cabin configuration as they get ready to open the hatch on their side. Uh, that'll be the last hatch to open. Uh, meanwhile, on the station side, uh, Tom Marshburn and the Expedition 67 crew will start outfitting what's called the A-pass hatch. That's the hatch on the station side. It's got a small valve that Marshburn's going to open up to begin to flow atmosphere to the space between the Dragon and the station hatches. Right now, it's still exposed to vacuum. 
but as soon as we're able to pull Dragon in and engage those hooks, uh, that will become a sealed, uh, sealed space. And so we'll be able to pressurize it, essentially just flowing atmosphere from the station into that previously vacuum space between the two hatches. We'll stop a couple of times on the way up and the pressure uh, just to do leak checks and let thermals equalize to make sure that we're actually measuring pressure and how much atmosphere is in there and not just thermal fluctuations. Um, and so once we get that up to pretty much the same ambient pressure as the space station, we'll open the A-pass hatch first and then it'll be over to the Dragon crew to open the hatch into Crew Dragon Endeavor. So still waiting for that soft capture ring to retract. Um, this might be a bit of deja vu for Dragon Commander Mike L.A., as this is actually the second time in his spaceflight career that he's docked to the space station on a spacecraft named Endeavor. Uh, he flew on Shuttle Endeavor back on STS-113, flying to the station in November of 2002 to deliver the Expedition 6 crew. So thank you to our resident space flight encyclopedia for that tidbit. So for now, the soft capture ring's still retracting, and once that's completed, uh, we'll be able to begin connecting those hooks. And those are gonna hold it in place. We'll get those umbilicals, and then we'll be able to start stepping into hatch operations. Dragon, SpaceX on the big loop. Ring retraction complete. Docking sequence is holding for MCS reconfiguration. SpaceX Endeavor, copy all. And that soft capture ring has retracted. Uh, as you heard, we're going to now stand by for a moment for MCS reconfigure. That's the motion control system on board station. For the docking ops, we were we had handed over to the thrusters on the Russian segment for propulsive attitude control. Uh, now that the soft capture is completed, we're going to hand back over uh, to the gyroscopes, the large gyroscopes on the U.S. segment that are just run electronically to provide non-propulsive attitude control to the station. And then once that handover is complete, we'll start engaging those 12 hooks, holding Dragon in place, and then getting closer to that docking complete call. But um, if you're just joining the docking, that initial contact and capture did take place uh, just about five minutes ago at 7.29 a.m. Central, 5.29 a.m. Pacific. Uh, 1229 GMT as uh, both the station and Dragon were flying 258 statute miles over the Atlantic, connecting the spacecraft to the station, carrying the first all-private astronaut mission to station the orbiting Houston. lab. MCS is configured. Proceeding with hook driving. Station copies. And we now have the motion control system on the station reconfigured back in uh, attitude control being done by the U.S. gyroscopes. And they're now going to start engaging those 12 hooks uh, on the Dragon capsule. All right, we've got confirmation that the hooks have started to drive. And so there's 12 total. We're going to do them in two groups of six. Um, so the, the first set of six driving now. Um, in this split screen view, you've got the newly arrived Dragon Endeavor on the left. On the right there is NASA astronaut and current Expedition 67 Commander Tom Marshburn. Uh, he's on the timeline to take the lead in the uh, vestibule pressurization operation, so he's going to be uh, moving into uh, the pressurized mating adapter in the space-facing side of Node 2, 
and working on the station side hatch, opening up a valve to uh, start to flow atmosphere from station into that uh, soon to be sealed pressurized area between the two hatches. And again, we expect hatch opening to take place roughly two hours, uh, should be a little bit less than two hours following a docking. Um, so with that docking happening uh, right around 7.30 central, um, it'll probably be uh, sometime uh, in the nine o'clock hour uh, before we get the hatches open. For the crew on board, they're gonna remain in their seats throughout this as we continue to drive the hooks. And then once those hooks are driven and docking is complete, we will be able to uh, have them get out of the suits. Uh, that'll be one of the first items for them. Uh, they'll also begin to just reconfigure the cabin. And we just got confirmation six of those hooks are engaged. So the first set is good and then the second set is now driving. And again, first set of hooks are in place. Second set of six hooks are now driving. And once we get those in place and get uh, the umbilicals deployed, we'll have docking complete. And then the crew will be able to get out of their suits on board of Dragon. Uh, they'll start to reconfigure the cabin. One of the first things that they'll do uh, once we get hatches open is to remove what's called a lyo canister. It's lithium hydroxide. That's the system used on board of Dragon to scrub CO2 from the air. They just remove it and put a seal over it as um, they've got a couple of essentially cartridges that get used while Dragon's in free flight. Um, and as they're gonna be integrating Dragon's atmosphere with the rest of station, uh, they'll take that out and then they'll be able to rely on uh, the station atmospheric revitalization systems, uh, scrubbing CO2, providing oxygen uh, for the duration of their docked visit. Um, once they get on board, and I'll address this a few times. We usually get asked, where's everybody going to sleep? As we now have 11 people uh, on board the space station. Uh, for the AX-1 crew, they're going to be split up in a couple of different areas. One will sleep inside of Crew Dragon Endeavor. Uh, one will set up a, a temporary sleep location in the Quest airlock. And then we'll have two spots inside of the European Columbus module. Um, one in the newly fabricated CASA, the it's essentially a new uh, crew quarters set up there, uh, the roughly closet-sized uh, private booths SpaceX that we have on, the on board loop. the station with four uh, over in node two. SpaceX Endeavor, hard capture complete. And there's the call, hard capture is complete. So all 12 hooks engaged and in place. Next up for some umbilicals, but Dragon now firmly attached to the space station. We see the visors come up on the crew inside and we can start now stepping into some of the operations to get those hatches open and get these AX-1 astronauts on board the station.